Hi, and welcome to this section where we're going to talk about building quality APIs. In this video, we're going to talk about debugging your API. So creating API tests is an important skill. What do you do when a test fails? Being able to debug failures and figure out what to do is an important aspect of API testing. So let's take a look at a failing test and see if we can figure out what's going on. I have here a test that I've set up to fail. So when we click on it, send, you can see the test results here have failed. It's saying that we expect undefined to deeply equal Europe slash London. So what's going on here? What does this even mean? Well, if we look at our test, so if we look at the actual assert that we're using up here, we can see that it's expecting the JSON data and the time zone key in that data to have a value of Europe slash London. But what this is saying down here is that this Europe London part, that makes sense, that's what we're looking for. But it's saying that val the key here, the time zone is undefined. What that probably means is something has gone wrong with our response. We're not getting back the response that we expect. And if we look at the body, we can see that is indeed the case. We would expect to have some kind of JSON here with information about the London time zone. But instead, we seem to have some long list of locations maybe locations this API takes, I don't know, but it's some long list of locations. It seems really odd. So let's see if we can find out a little bit more about what actually got sent to the server. So let's click here on the console to open up the Postman console. And then let's send our request again. And if we look at the console, we can see that we have some information here about what got sent to the server. So we can see the headers that were sent along with the API location that we sent and then we can see a little more detail about what came back now everything seems to be fine here so let's look at something else let's close that and let's try something here let's just change this to bob so we'll change it to something that doesn't make any sense and send this request and see what happens now interestingly we get the same error and if we look at the body we got the same response back so it seems like it doesn't care what we're putting in here so there must be something else going on. It seems like it's not a problem that's happening here at the end of the URL. But maybe let's go look at the documentation and see what it says. So we look here in the documentation. We can see that we should have worldtimeapi.org. Look at that. We have worldtimeapi.org. That looks good. And then we have slash API slash time zone followed by the area and location. So here we have slash API slash time zones. Oh, okay, so we have an extra S in there. So let's remove that and send this request and see what happens. Now we got something back, error, unknown location. Okay, so this is a very different thing than we were seeing before. Uh, it still gives us this undefined because the test here, there's no time zone key in this response, but we're getting an unknown location. So we're getting some, or we're getting a different error message. In this case, if you remember, we changed this to say Bob. So let's change that back to London so that it's a valid location and send that. And now you can see we've gotten back a response that has data about the London time zone. And if we look at the test results here, everything has passed and is as we expected. So when debugging tests, you can see there's a number of things that we can do. We can experiment with different things in the response to try and help us understand what's going on. We can look at the actual data being sent to the server to dig in and get more details in the console. And of course, another important source of information is the documentation. By digging through these sources of information and by trying and experimenting with things, we can figure out what's going wrong in our tests. 